how has that center position right, evolved on both ends of the floor? Well, it seems to me that increasingly, unless you're a shot maker from the perimeter, you can't find time on an NBA floor. So certainly they've become more perimeter oriented. The ability to at least make a mid-range jump shot helps the spacing on the floor. And then obviously on the defensive end, Kevin, the more valuable you are is based on can you switch and pick and roll situations, guard a variety of positions, say three, four, five, and if necessary, in an absolute pickle, can you stay with a guard if you've got to switch a pick and roll between a big and a small? Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. So the Wizards five right now. Morris and Gortat together down low. Beal and Porter at the two and the three. And it's Sadaransky in at the point guard position. Oladipo, Washington with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Beal, the pass to Sadaransky. There's a screen by Gortat. And Sadaransky kicks to Gortat. Lock at six. Outside Beal. The tray. No good on that one. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Outside Bogdanovich. Young outside in the corner. Collison with it. Turner with the screen. Young from outside. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Uh, boy, despite the miss, he did a really good job shaking himself completely free from the defense. Sadaransky, the pass to Beal. There's a screen by Gorton. Shoots from the high post. Beal can't get that one to fall. The Pacers have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Oladipo dishes to Bogdanovich. Porter with the steal. Outside Beal. Morris against Young. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist from Beal. Morris has got his first points in this one. Great shooting touch in face-up game opportunities for a power forward. Morris deadly from mid-range. Now here's Oladipo. And he drops in the way up off the glass. I tell you what, you better watch out, fellas. He is on fire here today. Here's Sodoronsky. Pass to Gortat. Dishes it to Beal. Six to shoot. More as a screen. Off the screen. And good. You got the English that time as it falls. Beal's got his second bucket. Yeah, that's just rubbing the defender off. Beal striking off the screen. Here's Oladipo. Great D that time from Beal. The Wizards with the lead. Over Collison. Beal can't get that one to fall. For Indiana, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Young against Morris. Young's shot is off. Not the kind of strong finish it should have been. Something threw him off. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Porter's got his first three points of the game. You can see Porter's confidence building steadily. The catch and shoot jumper becoming a real weapon. A drive by Collison. And that one hits back iron. Wizards leading by five. And Sadaransky kicks to Beal. Pass to Porter. Back to Beal. More as a screen. And here is Beal. Morris with a screen on Oladipo. Here's Beal. And he sinks the shot coming off the strong pick. Beal's got six. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Oladipo against Beal. And Oladipo kicks to Young. It's stolen by Morris. Beal the pass to Sadaransky. Back to Beal. Morris a screen. 
Bogdanovich against Porter. Right wing. And Zdaransky kicks to Beal. And again, Washington time with the out, triple. Boy, a dead eye like Beal. You better close Sorry. out and force him to put it on the deck. So the Pacers call timeout their first of the game. And Bradley Beal coming off that huge contract door as he signed before last season. Well, and rightly so, because when Beal is right, Kevin, you can see how deadly he is. He looked much more active last season, was able to drive to the rim, make cuts off the basketball. I just think when playing with confidence and aggression, this guy is truly extraordinary. Here's Gortat, and it's Gortat finishing it off. Well, the basketball IQ on display for Otto Porter makes the right read there. Kicks to Turner. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And Miles Turner Doris, one of the league's best shot blockers. He really is, Kev. Top five in that category starting in his second season. The quickness and long arms give him all the necessary tools. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And really, as recently as 2014, the Pacers were a team with that old school front court. Some tall timber inside, and they played that slow, methodical pace. They have revamped the roster, looking to space the floor and really fire it up on offense. So he gets them both. And the Pacers now looking to revamp how they approach things. The rebuild is on, it would appear. Yeah, and a good time to do it when they saw Paul George would be leaving. It won't be easy to make the transition, but the Pacers do have a good collection of young talent. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Oladipo against Beal. And Oladipo, here we go. And finished off by Oladipo. Boy, Oladipo with that burst of speed elevates high off the drive to finish with authority. Here's Sodoronsky. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. With the tip. Pacers trail by 11. The wide open look here for Oladipo. Porter pulls it in. Boy, with that much space around him, maybe he's better off attacking the basket than settling for the jumper. To the inside, Young with the steal. Outside, Collison. Young outside. Turner with the screen. And Young, here we go. And Thaddeus Young is... He's got a unique offensive skill set. I mean, he really is able to score over bigger players with just an array of little hooks and floaters and off-balance shots in the lane. Well, the league is finally catching up with Thaddeus Young. Six foot eight, 220 pounds. He was a small ball power forward before that was in vogue. Now he's kind of the perfect fit. Two shots. That's good from Young. You know, Kevin, it's easy to me to see why Thaddeus Young's teammates love him. This guy always knows his role and always plays within himself. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. Zabonis, he's checked in for Miles Turner. Lance Stevenson comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Joseph in for Darren Collison. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Mahimi's checked in for Gortat. Scott comes in for Morris. Kelly Oubre's checked in for Porter. And it's Frazier in for Sadaransky. Pass to Oubre. It's Beal on the wing. Guarded by Oladipo. Beal dishes to Scott. Clock at six. Here's Frazier. And not sure what he was thinking there. 
And over the course of his career, Young more of a slasher than a shooter, Doris, at the power forward position. Right. The southpaw has a very quick first step. And the last few seasons, though, starting to add that three-point shot, that will make him more effective. Doris, a common theme with this Washington Wizards team that has helped with their success is how much confidence they play with. Well, John Wall said that last year they spent a lot of their season just building the team's confidence. Now, that manifests itself in how hard they work on the court. And this team will play as one of the more physical teams in the NBA. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And the Pacers still looking for their first NBA title, but three titles, as we know, for the franchise in their ABA days. How about in nine seasons with the ABA, they made the finals five times. Now, granted, there were only about ten teams in the league, but that's still pretty impressive. All three throws, good from Thaddeus Young. Washington leading now by seven. Frazier outside. Here's Oubre. The Wizards with another miss. Just doing the job on the backboard. Joseph against Frazier. Joseph, the pass to Young. Here's Oladipo. Count that as his fourth basket of the night. Just seven shots to get there. What a phenomenal quarter from the field. A great shooting percentage, excellent shots. This is really well done. Here's Frazier. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Pacers trail by seven. And Joseph kicks to Oladipo. They set the screen. Back to Joseph. And Oladipo has it in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. He dishes it to Joseph. Over Frazier. And the shot no good, a bit short. Washington has gone three of six, 50% from deep so far tonight. And he feeds it to Scott. Wizards passing it around. Here's Stevenson. And the foul on Mike Scott. That's foul number two for him. Al Jefferson's checked in for Indiana. Joseph Young comes in for Victor Oladipo. And a switcher also for Washington. Meeks is checked in. Now here's Joseph. Not a lot of room. Jefferson down low. Mahimi on him. Jefferson gets the bucket. I'll simply say this, Kevin. If you refuse to check out Al Jefferson, he's going to O-board it and stick it back in the bucket. Now here's Frazier. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Down low. Here's Scott, and it's blocked. On the wing, Stevenson. And the shot is long. Yeah, bad shot there. The trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. I'm not sure why he doesn't continue to move the basketball. Would have served that team much better. Now, here's Meeks. The feed to Oubre. He kicks it to Mahimi. Four on the clock. Got a piece of it. Now, Joseph. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And Stevenson kicks to Joseph. Jefferson setting the pick for Joseph. A three-pointer is right on target. Don't you love how Jefferson sets good, hard picks without fouling? He's almost 290 pounds. Good luck running into that. Now here's Oubre. Feeds it to Meeks. Frazier outside. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Yeah, easy call. 
This is his first free throw of the game. 76% from the line a season ago. throw good Frazier and Nate McMillan with a solid track record as head coach in Seattle and Portland before taking over the Indiana Pacers well think about it before this job 12 seasons all coaching in the Northwest and that goes along with 12 seasons as a player all with the Sonics he actually earned the nickname Mr. Sonic for almost two decades in Seattle and Frazier drops them both and one issue we saw with the Wizards last postseason, Doris, was their bench. Right, a large part of that is the bench just didn't have any explosive scoring. On the season, their bench was bottom three in the league in group efficiency, and that's an area they greatly wanted to improve upon this year. Oubre dishes to Frazier. Sabonis grabs the board. Sabonis has got his third rebound tonight. Now, here's Joseph. He's guarded by Meeks. They set the pick. And Young, here we go. And he makes the bucket through contact and gets the whistle, too. They are just killing him on the interior. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And he was 73% from the line a season ago. An average number in that regard. One shot, gentlemen. And free throw good from Young. Well, you look at the Pacers, one of the better teams in field goal percentage last season, but their overall offensive efficiency lagged behind. The problem, not enough threes and not enough free throws. And those extra points make a difference. Now here's Frazier over Young. Takes a big height bounce and goes in. And the Wizards lead by three. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Now here's Joseph, guarded closely. There's the pass to Sabonis, the dish to Young. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Over Mahini, again Indiana. Well, it doesn't take a lot of space. Al Jefferson can knock down the mid-range game. Bradley Beal, he's been the guy making things happen for the Washington Wizards. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We'll return shortly. And a chance to hear from Bradley Beal. He came from a football family in St. Louis, but said his mother introduced him to the game of basketball at a young age. She definitely put the ball in my hand. She's the one who taught me my form, my follow through. And, and still to this day, she yells at me if I miss a shot. So she's kind of a perfectionist. And she definitely taught me how to shoot. She can shoot it. And she still to this day thinks she can shoot better than me. <laughs> Maybe some other NBA players should be practicing with Bradley Beal's mom because she uh, has definitely honed something special into him. To be sure. I'm just not sure some of the more delicate NBA egos could handle her trash talking once she beats them in a game of horse. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And what stands out to you from Washington in this one? And through that first period, for me, their work on the glass has been the difference. Well, they are pounding away on the backboards. Every time that ball goes up, they are ready to go after it. Young is out there with Corey Joseph. Then it's Lance Stevenson. Then there's Al Jefferson. And it's Sabonis in at the four. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Now, here's Scott. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. 
And the foul on Mike Scott. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth foul. And we're not even at halftime. That is going to limit his playing time and his aggressiveness the rest of the game. Pass to Stevenson. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Now, Kevin, this is what you're paying Jan Mahimi to do, right? Contest shots, perhaps intimidate a little bit on the defensive end. Now, here's Frazier. Now, here's Meeks. Dishes it to Scott. Frazier kicks to Mahimi. Over Jefferson. Up again. For Indiana, they've gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Joseph, the pass to Jefferson, can't cash in from close range. That's just superb interior defense, not allowing him a free run to the rim. Oubre kicks to Meeks. Pass to Frazier. Mahin Mia screen on Young. And another miss by Washington. Indiana leading. Stevenson outside. Jefferson setting the pick for Stevenson. With the second effort and the layup good by Jefferson. Jefferson's got four this quarter. Well, I'll tell you, he's been a go-to guy for them as they've taken this lead, and he keeps coming. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Kicks it to Oubre. Scott dishes to Mahimi over Jefferson. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. Darren Collison, he's checked in for Indiana. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Gortat's checked in for Mahini. Morris comes in for Mike Scott. Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Kelly Oubre. And Sadoransky's subbed in for Tim Frazier. And Joseph kicks to Stevenson. Porter with a block. Well, with that seven foot one wingspan for Otto Porter, he can provide some shot blocking. And Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. Sadoransky, the pass to Meeks. Moore as a screen. There's Porter with the three. Good on the triple. Porter's got six points. Doris with defensive rules now allowing teams to play a, a, a sort of soft zone. Does that make it easier to hide? bad defensive players on your team well it certainly gives you one avenue I don't think you can play zone in the NBA for any extended periods because the coaching is too good and the skill level of the players would destroy a zone if you gave a steady diet of it I do believe however that hiding a defensive weakness comes down to personnel how many can you hide on one particular floor somebody's going to get exposed somewhere if there's too many no doubt now here's Meeks Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Now here's Joseph. He's guarded closely. Sabonis kicks to Joseph. Here's Collison. Gortat with the block. Well, providing stout rim protection, Gortat is a two-way player. Sadoransky gets the bucket. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Screen by Jefferson. In the corner, Collison with it. A three-pointer off the mark. Washington has gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Sadoransky the pass to Gortat. He dishes it to Meeks. In the corner, it's Morris. Bangs home the trifecta. And now it's a three-point Wizards lead. Well, Morris making things look easy right now. What a rhythm. Passes it to Joseph. Left side, Callison to stop the run. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. 
And Corey Joseph, a terrific two-way player, Doris, at the combo guard. Kev, he's got great pedigree. Remember, he began his career in San Antonio under the great Greg Popovich. This guy's a physical, mobile defender who will guard either the one or the two. Looking at who's out there now for the Pacers. What's up? Miles Turner, he's checked in for Jefferson. Young comes in for Demonis Sabonis. And Bogdanovich is subbed in for Lance Stevenson. And last season, I think we saw just what could be a preview of what the Washington Wizards can be moving forward, right? They return to the second round of the playoffs. They have a clear core and strength to build around for the future. Porter, no luck. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Porter against Bogdanovich. Young outside. Hands it from downtown. Young's got seven points in the game. And Doris, as you mentioned, it had been a roller coaster of season finishes for the Wizards over the last few years. Now they know exactly where they stand. You know, Kevin, I think equally important, they know the destination they want to get to. John Wall has shown he is an elite talent in the NBA who can carry them in a postseason series. And I think as long as Wall is there, this team has an opportunity to contend in the East. Wizards trail by three. Beal with it, picked up by Joseph. Porter with it. Six points for him. There's Beal with the three. The rebound by Turner. Yeah, blown opportunity after the two-man game creates a terrific look. Well, he simply misfired. I mean, you've got to capitalize when the screen opens up wide open shots like that. Now here's Porter. Bogdanovich missing his last shot. Uh, guys, there's no doubt last year was a breakout year for Otto Porter. I mean, he set career highs almost across the board. Points, rebounds, and so on. This guy went from being a role player to a major part of the offense. free throw no good and for Porter and Doris you've always said that he always had the tools no doubt I mean with Porter's size and ability to shoot the basketball I think he's going to be a player who has a long career is it a complimentary role probably but because he can catch and shoot there's always value Victor Oladipo he's jacked in for Joseph good on the second free throw you guys look at a guy like Otto Porter and it seems like he's coming into his own in this league. He scuffled a bit certainly in his first season but a key piece for this group moving forward. Now here's Oladipo. He's got eight. He feeds it to Turner. Screen by Young. Tipped away. And so the ball out of bounds. Collison touched it last. Here's Beal. Nine points in the game so far. There's the feed to Morris. Over Young. Off the left rim and out. Indiana leading. Outside Bogdanovich. And once again off the mark by Indiana. Stop kicking himself on that one. That is the shot he wanted. Well, that's usually money in the bank for that guy. I'm not sure how he missed that one. Here's Sodoronsky. There's a screen by Gorton. Beal gets a wide open look. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. Bogdanovich against Porter. And out of bounds as the Wizards gain possession. That's a perfect example of why good hands are important in basketball. It just misread that pass completely. It's a neck and neck game here in Indiana. Here's Sodoronsky. Gortzot dishes to Beal. Shot clock at six. 
Right side, Porter. Beyond the arc. The Pacers pull it in. Turner's got three rebounds now in this one. He's trying to make something happen, but obviously been a tough quarter. And Bogdanovich kicks to Young. He shoots again. Morris with the block. Well, the tools, the instincts to do this on a more regular basis are certainly there for Markeith Morris. He gets every bit of that one. Here's Sadoransky. Gortat, the pass to Beal. Young with the steal. Here's Bogdanovich, and a foul called on the shot. Got he him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, how about Bogdanovich showing a bit of mobility on his way to the rack, drawing the foul? And a refined offensive skill set for the Croatian Bogdanovich. Well, Boyan, his three-point shot, obviously a big part of his game. He can really heat it up from the perimeter. On any given night, this guy can go for 40. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. Doris, you ended a very successful college career a few years before professional women's basketball was fully established. How much do you wish you could have had a chance to go pro and play in what is now the WNBA? How about this, Kev? The last 10 minutes of my senior season, the last 10 minutes of my final game, I blow out my knee. Otherwise, I would have gone to either Sweden or Ireland to play professionally. But sure, of course I wish the WNBA was formed. It came 10 years after my graduation in 1987. Oh, what could have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Doris is thriving, right? I mean, there is such a following for the WNBA. Last year's finals may be the most competitive in history. It's really grown leaps and bounds. So fun to watch. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. I don't think there's any doubt, guys, that last season was the best season in Bradley Beal's young career. It was the most points per game, and he did so while shooting 48%. Just really impressive. free throw missing for Beal as improvement wasn't only in the scoring department well, no doubt I thought he had a strong case for most improved player when you look at the areas he elevated his game career high in assists career high in threes made as well as free throws taken I mean what more could you ask for second free throw no good third pick back in 2012 after one season at Florida Beal is one to watch such an exciting talent now here's Collison quiet so far offensively searching for his first points of the game and the shot goes in Oh, nice screen really a poor defensive reaction and the obvious result you simply can't give him that uh, you have to fight through the screen and at least get a hand in the face of the shooter here is Porter. Seven points in the game. I'll tell you, he hasn't been able to find the mark all night. It's a big reason they're staring at this deficit. Young, a screen on Morris. Here's Oladipo. And the Pacers tack on two more. Well, how efficient is Victor Oladipo operating off the screen? Just understands how to rub that defender off. Morris, a screen. And Zedaransky kicks to Porter. Morris with the screen for Porter. Over Bogdanovich. And again, Washington, no good. Hey, we're not seeing the best quarter by this guy. And he's lost his feel a little bit. And Oladipo kicks to Collison. With some arc. Young with no one around. Kept alive by Indiana. And again, Darren Collison. And it's a nine-point Indiana lead. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Gortzot dishes to Beal to stop the run. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. 
No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Turner with the screen. Here's Young, and the Pacers tack on two more. Boy, masterful work from Thaddeus Young. He's got such tremendous length down there. There's a screen by Gortat. Outside, Porter. Morris with a screen on Bogdanovich. The pass to Sadoransky. They get the rebound. Outside, Porter. He kicks it to Beal. Morris with the screen for Beal. Turner with the steal. And here's Collison. Feeds to Young. It's Oladipo on the wing. He's covered by Beal. Here's Turner. And it's Turner finishing it off. And what I love about Oladipo, he does such a great job playing within the context of the offense. If you're open, he will find you. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Beal against Oladipo. It's deflected. The defensive instincts of Victor Oladipo are superb. This guy understands exactly when to rise for the rejection. The Wizards shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Gortat, no good on the free throw. Well, great lineage for Gortat. His father was an Olympic boxer. His mother played volleyball on the Polish national team. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. For Indiana, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. One shot. You know, I've always felt Al Jefferson is such an understated pro. He loves the game. His work ethic is remarkable. To me, any organization would want this guy on their team. And so it's the Indiana Pacers sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Bradley, the old saying, no rebounds, no rings. How important is it to continue to have five guys go to the glass in the second half? Yeah, all five, all five guys. But I think we're too worried about getting out in transition, so uh, I think one through five, including the guards, I mean, we all got to get in there and rebound. You can't score unless you have the ball, right? Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And what show. a show being put on here for the home fans tonight. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. Some good action during the period, as it was just a one-point game at the end of one. They just exploded in the second quarter, grabbing the momentum and running with it. Basket after basket, and they played stingy defense. Now they've got a halftime lead that's going to be very difficult to erase. And Kenny, what would you think about what we saw from Indiana? You had to love the persistence they showed on the offensive boards in the first two quarters. They put everything they had into cleaning that glass. And they came away with a lot of second chance points and a healthy halftime lead to show for it. And they're in a great position right now. Shaq, what was your takeaway on Washington? Sloppy ball. Way too many wasted possessions. Chucking up threes, missing them. 
I could hit more threes than that, Ernie. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside because that's what it's going to take. If they were hitting more threes, that would be a different story. But if if was a fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. That's it for halftime. Glad you could join us as now we send you back to the action for the start of the third quarter. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. What can you say? Al Jefferson, an impressive effort here today. Yeah, the rebounding, particularly on the offensive side, as good as it gets, he was bringing the effort down low. Well, it's his specialty. There are certain guys who can dominate a half or even an entire game by generating second chances. Well, it's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but there's plenty of time to mount a comeback. Wizards trail by 14. Last season, the Wizards having one of the best years in franchise history. No title for the team, but Doris, they did secure their first division title since 1979. And if my math is correct, Kev, that was a 38-year drought they managed to end. But for this team, I think they know it's just the start, and they want to go even deeper in the playoffs this year. Taking a look at the Wizards. Porter and Morris are the forwards. Center answered there with Bradley Beal. And it's Gortat in at the center position. There's a screen by Gortat. There's a screen. Odipo against Beal. Just five on the clock. Here's Sadoransky. He can't hit that time. Great D that time from Collison. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Collison with the screen for Young. And sticking right with it, gets the foul with the bucket, and he'll go to the line. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. For Indiana, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. That one, this is for Young. And Dora, so many great point guards in the league. In fact, the number of stars at that position, we see them every night, but who are some of the floor generals that maybe don't get the headlines? More of the underrated portion. I think the single most consistently underrated point guard, though certainly not by the contract extension he most recently signed, would be Mike Conley. This guy for the Memphis Grizzlies. Some guys just fit in the systems and the cities and the organizations for whom they play. And I would say Mike Conley, ability to run the team, ability to make the three-point shot, to make the players around him better, he comes to mind. Kemba Walker in Charlotte is a guy who once they consistently start to make the playoffs as an undersized point guard I think you could see him start to grow in reputation and Isaiah Thomas who launched himself for stretches into the MVP conversation interestingly Kevin what do all three have in common a little bit undersized in today's NBA and can you believe Conley has never been an all-star as good as he is cannot believe that no and you've had his teammates make it Marcus Saul most notably I know that Marcus Saul would love to see Mike Conley next to him in an all-star uniform And both free throws good for Darren Collison. Well, Darren Collison going through the free agency process this last summer. Greg Indiana jumped at the chance to add him to the roster. Yeah, and with Collison and his ability to play in so many ways, that is what made teams go after him. He doesn't always take a big signing to change the complexity of a team. Getting solid contributors like Collison go a long way in building the foundation of a team. I tell you, you love the attitude of Miles Turner. No one is getting off these shots when he's nearby. No one. Pacers on defense. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. 
they have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Now here's Collison. And Oladipo kicks to Bogdanovich. Young for three. Cranes the three-pointer. Young's got five points now in the quarter. They wanted a fast start coming out of the break, and they are now three for three. Here's Sodoronsky. There's a screen by Gorton. Porter kicks to Beal. They need this. Beal can't get that one to fall. And they just tried everything to stem the tide here, but nothing seems to work. Well, Greg, I think this other team is just in the zone right now. They're clicking on the offensive end, and the defense starting to look frustrated. And Washington timeout, timeout. has possession, following the score by Indiana. Started. So timeout called here, the first for Washington. And you see Bogdanovich, six foot eight at times, listed at shooting guard. Uh, G.A., is he a two? No. If anything, I, I think he's often better defending power forwards than he is against the wings, in part because you're not going to look to post that position in the way the game is played today. This guy is skilled and tough, but doesn't have the great foot speed defensively, so I think that's to his advantage to guard those guys. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. There's a screen by Gorton. There's the dish to Morris. Over Bogdanovich. And again, Washington, no good. Here's Indiana. Now. A nice run going 12 in a row. Come on, Carlson. Right side, Turner. The 17-footer. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Turner's got four points now in the quarter. Oh, great ball movement there. Sadaransky the pass to Porter. Dishes to Beal. Morris with a screen on Oladipo. Looking to get it going. That one doesn't go. Here's Indiana. Good momentum. 14 straight points. Back to Collison. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's the screen. And count it. He'll head to the line with a That's chance good. to make it three. And what a great One start shot. to the second half. They've hit everything they've looked at thus far. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. Terrific form at the line throughout last season. 89% on the year. Joseph, he's checked in for the Pacers. One shot. One shot. Free throw good, Bogdanovich. And guys, Bogdanovich, the former second-round pick, has really found his place in the NBA. This guy is an effective shooter from just about anywhere. Now here's Beal. He's got nine. Gortzot dishes to Morris. Makes it off the glass. Morris has got ten points in the game. I'll tell you, he's been one area they haven't had to worry about tonight. He's been scoring at will. Turner with the screen. And Joseph kicks to Oladipo. From outside, off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Good on the bucket. And it's nine points for Otto Porter Jr. Well, proving you don't have to be bulky to be strong. Otto Porter with a powerful finish. Screen by Young. Joseph, the pass to Young. It's Oladipo on the wing. Pass to Turner. Over Morris. And it's sent back by Morris. Outside Beal. Let's go. 
and misses it off the right side of the rim. You know, they're trying to battle back, but he's missing shots this period. Now, here's Joseph. Tight defense on him. Gortat with the rebound. Gortat's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Wizards passing it around. Morris with a screen on Oladipo. Beal drives in. An easy layup after coming off the pick. 11 points in the game. Well, well he's given himself a chance. Six shots he's gotten up this quarter, but only able to convert on one of them. Bogdanovich against Porter. And that one is stuffed right through. Wow, Kev, love the power and the strength of Bogdanovich on that strong finish. Washington has gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Time Still out, 0 out. for 3. Washington calls timeout. Well, I mean, he needs to talk to his guys. The interior defense has been horrific. Absolutely no rim protection whatsoever. At this point, the other team is walking all over them on the inside. Indiana making some changes. Sabonis, he's checked in for Miles Turner. Lance Stevenson subbed in for Bogdanovich. The Wizards also changing it up. Mahimi's checked in for Gortat. Oubre comes in for Otto Porter Jr. And it's Frazier in for Sedaransky. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And Markeith Moore is a power forward who gives you a different look and a little bit of everything, Doris. Well, what I love about Keith, he isn't going to back down on the block. And he's able to score in a number of different ways. Got a great nose for the basket. Collected when finishing at the rim. This guy adds so much value. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on that one. And steady from the free throw line. Morris has gotten there less since he's been shooting more threes. And the second free throw, good. Well, you look at Marquise Morris, and you see a player, Greg, who is finally meeting his potential. And, and you know what? Give credit to Morris, because he's fallen in line with the team and the staff here. I think he's always had the talent to be an impact player. It just took a structured situation for him to really flourish, and I think he's found a home here in Washington. Scotty's checked in for Marquise Morris. On the free throw, no good. Washington shooting a low, low 30% right now. An ugly offensive performance. Beal, and another miss by Washington. Indiana's gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. Oladipo, good. Well, that's just the catch and shoot game of Victor Oladipo. So fast on the trigger on the catch. Frazier kicks to Beal. Back to Frazier. Sweet little floater. Frazier's got six. I'll tell you, that's a graceful finish. Not just any old layup. The teardrop. And Joseph kicks to Young. Here's Sabonis, defended by Scott. Passes it to Joseph. Six on the shot clock. Young sets a screen for Joseph. Off the screen, and so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And Washington making a change here. Meeks is checked in.
Free throw good, Joseph. Indiana making some changes. Jefferson comes in for Young. Young is subbed in for Oladipo. And Joseph drops them both. Washington's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Oubre kicks to Scott. To the left wing. Frazier against Young. A shot by Frazier. No good. Indiana's gotten going here in the second half from outside. Nailing 3 of 4 from the arc. Jefferson setting the pick for Joseph. And the three off target. Boy, what a tough night. Imagine what their lead would be if he were having a better night from the field. Frazier outside. Got a hand on it. And the whistle stops game play. It's not a clean block shot. Instead, a shooting foul. And we'll see free throws coming up right here. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. Indiana's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight. Nailed five of them. Screen by Jefferson. Joseph dishes to Jefferson. And Jefferson throws it down. But Kevin, Al Jefferson not known as a dunker. But what he is known for is finishing around the bucket as he does there. Frazier kicks to Meeks. Now Scott, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Here's Mahimi. That shot, no good. Jefferson with some nice D. Young against Frazier. Young, a screen on Frazier. Stevenson passes to Jefferson. That ball, nice feed that time from Stevenson. And that's 15 points for Al Jefferson. Frazier kicks to Meeks. Frazier outside. Over to the wing. Kicks to Meeks. Puts up a three. A shot by Frazier. No good. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. He dishes it to Meeks. Back to Frazier. He feeds it to Mahimi. Jefferson with some nice D. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort on the defensive end. Now here's Joseph. He's got eight. Shoots over Frazier. Rebounded by the Wizards. Mahimi's got his third rebound on the night. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Frazier dishes to Scott. Back to Frazier. A floater, and Jefferson sends it back. I love to see a little nasty from Al Jefferson on the defensive end. Uses his length well right there. Young passes to Sabonis. Back to Young. And there's the feed to Stevenson. Shoots from 12. That's short off the rim. Washington's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Frazier outside. 
And the pass to Mahimi. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, I think it's interesting. When you talk about being consistent, Jan Mahimi is a great example. This guy's a solid center who will defend and board for you. So important. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Doris Mahimi is not a flashy player by any means. Right. Jan is a guy who doesn't need to play with flash in order to impact a game. He does a terrific job filling up space on the offensive end when teams collapse off him. And this guy's got a great career field goal percentage because he takes only the shots he knows he can make. The Pacers making a change here. Collison's out there. He's perfect from the line this time. I'll tell you, the big man from France, Jan Mahimi. Had to fight through a number of injuries to get to this point, but he's the kind of battler every team is looking for. Great communication on the alley-oop. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop, and bang, lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Frazier kicks to Scott. Now, here's Meeks. He hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Nice ball movement by Washington. Oubre can't get it to go. And here's Indiana. They're on a 17-6 run. It's stolen by Mahimi. Frazier against Young. Frazier kicks to Meeks. Feeds it to Frazier. And out of bounds as the Pacers gain possession. There's 14 seconds left here in the third quarter. Young dishes to Jefferson. Kicks it out to Stevenson. Fires the three. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And so it's Indiana going to the break, holding an enormous 36-point lead. Their defense has been terrific in this game. Back right after this. And thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. And so it's Indiana with it. And it's time for an injury report. Let's check in with David Aldridge for an injury update on Bradley Beal. David. Hey, Kevin. I spoke with the head athletic trainer for Washington. He said he turned his ankle, and it is definitely starting to swell up. All right, David, thanks for checking in and letting us know how he's doing. And, and let's just hope that he doesn't have any setbacks during his recovery. Well, and barring any of those setbacks, Greg, I wouldn't be surprised to see him back ahead of the schedule they've laid out for him. Leaf is out there with Al Jefferson, and there's Collison, and it's Young, and it's Poitras in at the three. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Robinson, that's good. Allison with it. Pass to Poitras from downtown. No good that time. And Washington the other way now. And Robinson wide open. He shoots. His three-pointers off the mark. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus-10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. And Young, here we go. He kicks to Collison. Here's Leaf, defended by Scott. And it's out of bounds. The Wizards will take it the other way. Smith checked in for Washington.
and so it's Washington with it here in the fourth quarter. Their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. There's a screen by Robinson. Five on the clock. Scott kicks to Frazier. From deep three-point range, the shot comes out. And if he thinks that's within his range, then you know what? He's got a low basketball IQ. I'm a little surprised he would even attempt that shot. Much better to swing the ball to somebody else. The Wizards have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Outside, Scott. Back to Frazier. Here's the teardrop, and he sinks the layup. Oh, such a feel shot there, the floater. Indiana's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Poitras, no good. This has been absolutely brutal. Missed every shot this quarter. He needs to keep his head up and keep working. Back to Robinson. There's the dish to Frazier. Lock at six. <laughs> Fouled in the act of shooting. A three-point play gentlemen. chance coming up. He's been heating it up since the break, getting some excellent looks right now. The Pacers making a change here. Turner's checked in. Chris McCullough, he's checked in for Washington. One shot. On the free throw, no good. Boy, guys, such a rare combination, right? A great shot blocker who can also make threes. And if you think back to that 2015 draft, three kinds of those players entered the league. Carl Anthony Towns, Chris Stapps Porzingis, and this guy, Miles Turner. Here's Poitras. Tries to snap the cold streak. Second chance shot. The kick out to Young. Shoots from 12. And Turner with the basket on the assist by Young. And he's now got the double-double. Ten points and ten rebounds. And you talk, Doris, about a stretch five. Miles Turner already a knockdown shooter from long range. Well, it's incredible at his size to be that smooth, that quick, and that high with his release. Your eyes are not lying. That's a seven-footer with a gorgeous shooting stroke. And the foul called on Jason Smith. That's his first foul. Pacers have gone just one of six in the field to start the fourth quarter. A bit of a slowdown for them right now. Turner with the screen. Let's it go with a three. And it's Meeks with the rebound. And the team has gotten it done here in spite of his performance. Still over from the field. In the corner, it's Robinson. Pass to McCullough. Here's Frazier. Drills it from outside. After an ice-cold start to this game, he is pouring it on here in the second half. Turner with the screen. The drive by Collison. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, gives up the body selflessly, right? That's a winning play right there by Miles Turner. Such a good screener. Frazier kicks to Meeks. Outside, Robinson. Pass to McCullough. Young against Frazier. Here's the floater. Good defensive work there by Young. The Pacers have gone just two of eight in this fourth quarter. The final quarter not treating them well so far. Here's Leaf. From the line. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. That's 10 points for Collison. Well, there you go. I mean, if they're going to keep giving up open jumpers, they're going to keep getting burned. 
Back to Meeks. There's the three. Good. Great play set up by Frazier. Yeah, and they are living and dying from beyond the arc since halftime. It's a different look than what we saw in the first half. Now here's Collison. Turner with the screen. The pass to Poitras. Back to Collison. Shoots over Meeks. That doesn't go either for Collison. Washington's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. And Meeks kicks to Frazier. They shoot again, and the layup is up and in. Frazier's got 12 points here in the second half. Pacers shooting just 30% from the field here in the fourth. Here's Poitras, guarded by Robinson. Pass to Leaf. Indiana moving it around. Fires from deep. Rebound by Smith. I'll tell you, with the struggle he has had today, he probably won't be their number one option as they look to close this game out. Dishes it to Frazier. Back to Meeks. Out to the right wing. Frazier outside. Tries a three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Young, banked in off the glass. And, and those are the kinds of plays that are just killing them right now. For Washington, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth, and even 50% to the wing right side. Pass to McCullough. Frazier outside. Rob. Outside Collison. Teardrop shot. And it's denied. And here is Robinson. Kicks to Frazier. Good defensive work there by Young. Right side Collison. And now here comes Robinson leading the break. And Frazier with the basket on the assist from Robinson. Frazier's got 11 here in this quarter alone. He has certainly done his part this period. Uh, just needs to get a little more help from his teammates. The feed to Collison. Passes it to Poitras. He dishes it to Young. They set the pick. Shot clock at five. Meeks with the steal. And there's the foul. And Darren Collison picks it up. That's his first foul. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Anna Bogus checked in for Indiana. Oladipo comes in for Darren Collison. And a switcher also for Washington. Oubre's checked in. Now here's Frazier. He feeds it to Meeks. Here's McCullough. He kicks it to Oubre. There's the pass to McCullough. Shot clock at five. Feeds to Oubre. Launches it. A shot by Frazier, no good. He needs to stop shooting the ball right now. This is hurting his team. Oladipo, left side. Sinks that one from the post. Boy, the strength of Victor Oladipo is on display there. Effortlessly absorbing the contact. Nicely done. Pass to McCullough. Meeks on the wing, guarded by Oladipo. Over to the left wing. Now the dish to Oubre. And another miss by Washington. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Turner with the screen. Young against Frazier. Young passes to Turner. Over Smith. The shot by Turner, no good. And it's not easy to get those stops at the rim, but he does a great job with it. Yeah, he can make it look simple on the interior when it's really not. He knew exactly how to guard on the inside. Now here's Frazier. Dishes it to Oubre. And Meeks kicks to Smith. Out to the right wing. Here's Frazier. They get it again. 
Al Jefferson's checked in for Turner. The Wizards also changing it up. Miami comes in for Jason Smith. And Mike Scott subbed in for Chris McCullough. One fifty-six left here in the fourth quarter. They set the pick. Frazier kicks to Oubre. Good. Great play set up by Frazier. Frazier's got three assists in the game. This has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a nice job of extending their lead and maintaining that intensity level. Now, here is Young. Shot clock at six. Meeks with the steal. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Indiana. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Al Jefferson. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over it. That's good for Meeks. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. There's 117 left in the fourth quarter. Now Frazier. Pass to Meeks. Right side Scott. Frazier outside. Mahinmi a screen. Five on the clock. A nice shot by Frazier. And finally finding a rhythm, but unfortunately a little too late. Well, you wonder if they can use the momentum they've built here into the next game because this one looks over. Now, here is Young. It's stolen by Frazier. Kicks to Meeks. Pulls up on the elbow. They get it back. That shot, no good. And so it's Indiana with it. There's the feed to Young. Passes it to Anabogu. And Young kicks to Oladipo. Off target from outside. Now here's Frazier. Scott with a screen on Oladipo. Over in the corner, Meeks. Scott kicks to Frazier. Puts up a three. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. It was a tale of two teams tonight, one that was in total control, operating flawlessly, and the other just searching for answers that they could never find. I mean, the energy here is just so tremendous. Fans involved from the get-go, and once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see that rhythm and flow from their perspective. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. <laughs> Kevin, thank you. Victor, what does tonight's performance say about the confidence of this team? 
uh, just we're pretty good. We play great together, you know, um, and we play well together as a team. So when we do that, it's easier for us to be teams. Victor Wundamatha, thank you, my man. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. See you later.